Hi folks, welcome to this brief tutorial on using Facebook Live. Now before we get stuck into the how to do it, I just want to touch briefly on the why. Um, you may be watching this video because you want to look at live streaming your church services, maybe on a Sunday morning or, or whenever. Um, but actually Facebook Live particularly is really useful for using you know, throughout the rest of the week for, for you know, short little video clips and little messages. And the main reason for that is Facebook prioritizes their live feature. Um, I don't know why, but they do. And so you may have experienced this, you know, when you're browsing around on your own Facebook profile and you get a notification saying that one of the pages that you like has gone live. Um, and that's a really handy feature. So if you flip it on its head, you can use that. And so everybody who follows and likes your Facebook page, your church's Facebook page, will be able to, to be told straight away that you're going live. So it can be really great for just those little quick messages as well because it'll get bumped up on people's news feeds. So we're going to look into the, the how to do it now. And I'm going to do it on a mobile phone. Um, you can do it on a do Facebook Live on a laptop or a computer or whatever. Um, but a mobile phone is the easiest way. Um, and what I'd recommend you do is get yourself a tripod. Um, you can get them for pretty cheap off, uh, face, off Amazon or, or places like that. Um, and it just helps to steady your phone, fix it in place, and then you, can, you don't have to hold it then. Um, and so I'm going to switch over to my phone now. Um, and you can see I've got a list here of all the pages that I manage. I'm going to tap this bottom one here just for the demonstration. Um, and you may spot it already. Across the middle of the page, we've got our create a post and we've got a live icon underneath it. So I'm going to tap that live icon. And you'll see the first thing it's done is it's popped up uh, in portrait mode facing me. Um, and this is a key thing here, folks, because uh, if you're in portrait mode, um, that's where you've got to stay um, or switch it over because you can't uh, change during the video. So choose before you start your video which orientation it's going to be in and then stick with that because otherwise it, it won't work. Um, so I'm in portrait at the moment um, and these are good for, for kind of this sort of situation, the, the headshot sort of thing. But if you're doing something a bit bigger then you might want to, to turn it to landscape. And you can see we've got all sorts of other things on uh, our screen at the moment. Um, we've got uh, our tap to add a description, you can add your location, all sorts of things. These are definitely things I would recommend doing. So adding a description, it's like being back in primary school, making a, a you know, making a newspaper headline sort of thing. Make it, make it exciting, make it appealing. Um, so, you know, here's a short word of hope from our minister. Something like that. Um, you can add in all sorts of other things as well. You can you can add in a, a donation uh, section. You can uh, promote some links. So let's say you're going to refer to a, a place on your website or another website. You could put the links in as well. Um, and then allowing messages. Yeah, we want people to comment because we want loads of interaction, folks. As soon as you're ready to go live, you can simply click the Start Live button. And you can see it's about to start going and this indication in the top left means that we're, we're, we are live, everything's good. We've got loads more buttons across the bottom again, similar to what we might have seen before. Um, we've got, the first one is our effects, so that's where we can put in some video filters and stuff. They can be a, a bit gimmicky folks, so do just watch out. Um, you can swap the video around, so that's to turn it to the rear facing camera. Um, and then we've got flash and a few other things folks. Uh, that it's worth worth looking at, particularly the comments button. So you can write comments as well, but comments, as it says here, comments will appear here. And it's all about that interaction, folks. It's not just about you delivering stuff, it's about interacting with others. And then the final button is our links button. Um, so that's when we can put in our featured links that I was referring to earlier. So if you're saying, have a look on our website, the link is here, boom, people can see exactly what, what you're looking for. Um, once you finish your live, your Facebook Live video, you tap the finish button and it will end the live video. And then you've got the option of clicking post now, um, which will uh, put your video onto your Facebook page. So I hope that tutorial's helped, folks. Don't be afraid to get in touch if you have any questions.